In this video, we'll learn to use appropriate positional vocabulary to describe position and direction, especially the eight compass points. What do I mean by that? You've probably used a compass point in your life, and there are usually four compass points, but sometimes even eight, and I'll show what these mean. As you can see, one of these points shows an arrow and that is the north, so going up the north, just like the ones, the north that you've shown in questions as well. So an arrow going upwards towards the top of the paper marked as N to mean north. So that arrow is represented through this arrow green arrow here so that means north now at the bottom we've got south so completely the opposite of north we've got south so if i continued here that would be south here and On the right, we've got an E, which means east. So this way is east and completely on the opposite of east is the west. On the left. So what are the other four points? So we've got four points already. What are the other four points? The other four points stands in between these four. So between north and west is the northwest. Between north and east is the northeast. Between south and east is the southeast, and between south and west is the southwest. So, what we're saying first is whether it's north or south, and then either east or west. So, north, east, north, west, southeast, southwest. So, first of all, you start with showing north and then completely the opposite is south then on the right is east on the left is west and you can fill those in between by starting with north or south and then giving east or west let's have a look at what this means exactly so i've got the uk map here and what I'm going to be doing is looking at the direction of different cities from different ones. So we'll start with Manchester. And I will draw north from Manchester. So there is north. So that's always a starting point, looking at the direction of north, doing something that is parallel to that. I like to refer to the top of the paper by making a right angle triangle. So there is north and we have south. On the right we've got east and west on the left. Now, Leeds, where is Leeds? Leeds is northeast of Manchester. As you can see, so there is north, there is east. This is northeast of Manchester. And let's have a look at some other places.
we have London here. And so here is North. And here is South. So what do we see? What do we notice? Which city is north of London? That is Cambridge. Which city is south of London? That is Brighton. And that is the west. So Oxford is more or less west of London. And so is Bristol. So that just gives us some examples of how to use the compass points describe position and direction. So we would say Leeds is northeast of Manchester, so you need to move due northeast from Manchester to get to Leeds. What about from Leeds? So there is Leeds, there is the north, there is the south, there is the east and that's the west. So Manchester is southwest of Leeds. So there is the south, there is the west. So between the south and the west of Leeds, so Manchester is southwest of Leeds. Now we look at turns. So if we face in north and we move a we move a full turn in the clockwise direction, we'd end up north again. So same thing. If I did I was facing north and then did a full turn in the anti-clockwise direction, I'd end up north as well. So wherever you start, you'd end up with, again, if you did a full turn. So if you started in the east, do a full turn, and you'd get to the east again, facing east again. So if we do a full turn, we end up, where we started. Now half turn again. Let's say we start in, we're facing west and we're doing a half turn, which is half a circle. When we say half a turn, half a circle. Full turn was a full circle. So I'll end up in the opposite direction here. So start in west and I'll make a half turn so I'm ending up in the east so whatever is in the opposite that's what it means half turn so this was in the clockwise direction because that's how the clock moves the minutes will go through this journey not this way so this is clockwise and this is anti-clockwise so if I do this now, anti-clockwise, again, with a half turn, it brings me to the same place. What happens with a quarter turn? Let's say I'm north, I'm doing a quarter turn in the clockwise direction. So quarter, there is a quarter. So I've ended up in the east. Another quarter turn, in the clockwise direction and I am in the south. Another quarter turn and I'm in the west and another quarter turn clockwise and I'm in the north. This then would be a quarter turn anti-clockwise to go to the 
west and then south another quarter turn anti-clockwise to the east another one to the north let's suppose we're starting in the northwest and we're doing the quarter turn so northwest quarter turn will bring me to southwest and if now I make a move anti-clockwise sorry I'll make now a move clockwise because the previous one was anti-clockwise so I'll go clockwise to the northwest quarter turn clockwise again quarter turn to the northeast another move and we go to the southeast so things to remember about full turns full turn is a full circle and it didn't matter whether we go clockwise or anti-clockwise because you're going to end up in the same place or facing the same direction and if we do half turns it's half a circle so again it did not matter in this case whether we're doing it clockwise or anti-clockwise because the place you're ending up with we're in is the same so from the north you're going to get to the south from the north you're going to get to the south so it did not matter in half turn as well when it came to quarter turn it does matter so quarter is like quarter of a pizza again quarter turn a quarter of a circle so from the north if i move quarter turn clockwise i'll end up in the east if i move quarter turn from the north anti-clockwise i'll end up in the west so that really matters whether you go clockwise or anti-clockwise so now going to the example of the cities we had so if we are in london facing north we'd face cambridge but if we make a half turn clockwise or anti-clockwise we'd be facing brighton so again let's try it anti-clockwise and it will get to brighton again so facing brighton and if you make from brighton a quarter turn anti-clockwise then we face in bristol 